In this video, we're gonna explain the settings menu on your Hummerbird user interface so that you can quickly and easily adjust settings on whether it be mapping or sonar views. So the beauty of this new Hummerbird interface is that it's built on the Explore platform and it was designed specifically to be very easy to use. So one example of that is the new settings menu. So we have our side imaging selected here and we're gonna open up the settings menu. You can either press the button on the keypad over here or the touch screen. And you're gonna see that there's only a few options listed here. They're the most commonly used and most important settings that you're gonna use for this technology that you have selected. So the beauty of that is you're not overrun with a bunch of options. Here are the main things you're going to use. And then if you want, you can get into advanced settings and get more options. So one nice thing is just how simple that is. Another video we did on in-pane touch targets, you're gonna to wanna check that out too, cause that allows you to adjust some of these same settings without even having to open the settings menu. So just to show you a couple examples based on the technology you have open, we have side imaging selected here open up our settings. We have the core functionality, sensitivity, contrast, dynamic contrast, our scroll speed, and sonar colors. If we wanna change our side imaging color palette, we can do all of that from right here. Um, let's go down to chart. We go down to our chart, we have you know, our current track, we have auto chart live, where you can uh, create a custom map, water level offset if you need to change the contours based on water levels changing smart stripe functionality and a variety of other settings. You go into advanced settings, you have things like your depth highlights, which are very popular. Layers, if you have a premium uh, Lake Master card, you can change shaded relief, aerial imagery, and a bunch of different options for that. If we go over to down imaging, similar to side imaging, sensitivity, contrast, dynamic contrast, scroll speed, and your color palettes, all right here. So I mentioned the in-pane touch targets as another video for you to check out, but another thing would be, we have a video on the top menu bar. So like I showed you in your settings here, if you go to advanced settings, you're gonna get your depth highlights. This top menu bar is gonna give you options to get to some of those settings much quicker with a single press, like depth highlights, for example. I can turn those on and access them. Check that video out to learn more about the top menu bar. It'll be linked at the end of this video. If you want to learn how to be an expert with your hummingbird fish finders, check the description below for a link to a variety of different video resources explaining this user interface.